Hello, Stingray Band. This video is intended to describe exactly how to put on your mouthpiece, ligature, and reed on your clarinet. Now, at this point, I will have already assembled my clarinet with the barrel, upper joint, lower joint, everything is lined up, as well as the bell on the bottom. What will usually happen before you do any of this is you will take your clarinet reed, the very thin side, and you're going to soak it by putting it in your mouth. Mm -hmm. The best thing to do is open your teeth, stick out your tongue, and put the skinny side on your tongue. Ah. And then I'm gonna put it in my mouth. I'm gonna leave it in my mouth until it's soaked with lots of saliva. You will do that while you're putting your clarinet together. So that way when you're ready to put the reed on, it has been soaked. For now, we're gonna take our mouthpiece. Notice that it has a cork side. I'm gonna line it up with the barrel on top. I've already made sure that it's been lubricated with cork grease. I'm gonna twist and push. Notice that the brand of the mouthpiece is facing outward. Then I'm gonna take my soaked reed and I'm gonna put the flat part of the reed on the flat part of the clarinet. I'm also going to be careful to make sure that I line it up with the tip of the mouthpiece. So you don't want to go too far up or too far down and you certainly don't want to put the reed in the clarinet hole. We don't do that. Okay. Lined it up and I'm holding it here with my left thumb. Then I'm going to take my ligature. It has two openings. This hole is a little bit smaller than this hole. You're going to take the big hole and slip it over the top being very careful to make sure you don't touch the tip of the reed. If you're not careful what will end up happening is you could potentially chip or break your reed in which case you'd have to throw it away and buy another one. I'm going to slide that down as far as it'll go and it should look like this. Now, a good rule to remember mm -hmm. is that we live in a right-handed world, okay? The reason why I say that is even though you're le you might be left-handed, the screws or the place that you turn the screws will always be on your right-hand side, just like this. So if you have your ligature and it looks like that, that would be incorrect because that's on the left. Always has to be on the right and at the bottom of the mouthpiece. Some of you might have a different ligature that might be made out of black leather. Those are the Robner ligatures. We'll talk more about those later. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna alternate tightening the screws. Top one, bottom one. Top one, bottom one. Top one, bottom one. And I keep going until I have equal pressure and it keeps the reed in place. You do not need to over tighten these screws only enough to keep the reed in place. When I'm done, it looks just like that. So this is the back part of the clarinet. When I hold it like this, and the reed goes down here at the bottom. When I play, the reed will be touching my lower lip. And that's how you put on your mouthpiece, ligature, and reed on a clarinet. 